today we will be testing the dynamic reactor indicator. But before we do, if you have not watched the first video on the channel and all the videos after that, you need to go do that now. Here at the Academy of Forex, we are building the best trading system possible as a team. There is also a link down below to sign up for TradingView. You can save a little bit of money if you use the link below to sign up for your account. You can also find a link below to join us on Discord. Lastly, if you would like a list of all the indicators we have tested along with their win rates, but you aren't interested in watching all the videos on the channel, you can sign up for our $9 Patreon and you will receive the complete list of indicators. We also would like to introduce our Patreon exclusive Discord channel. As a $9 Patreon, you will be invited to join an exclusive Discord channel where we will give you a list of winning indicators and links for the MT platform, give you winning strategies, post trade ideas, give advanced advice, and much more. So click the link below to join our Patreon. All right, as I said today, we will be testing the dynamic reactor indicator. Before we do though, I wanted to put the testing scoreboard up for everyone to see. So to date, we have tested a total of 64 different strategies with 16 of them being profitable. We've also tested a total of 856 indicators with 356 of them being winners. The best ones so far were able to achieve a 100% win rate. Now you need to go back and watch those videos to understand the context of how they were able to achieve that. So go back and watch those videos and see what you can get out of those winning indicators. We have also retested in the advanced testing 54 of the winning indicators. 20 of them have been able to maintain the winning status, the best two, a 76% win rate. Now keep in mind that we test most of these strategies and indicators on the Forex and crypto market but they can be applied to just about any market and time frame universally. All right, so today's indicator is the dynamic reactor indicator. You can see it here on screen. Uh, the setup on this is relatively easy. So basically uh, we have this band here um, and this band has an upper line, a lower line or an upper band and a lower band. And then we have the mid band kind of running right down the center there. Uh, creates kind of this channel style indicator here. And what it's doing is it's acting uh, kind of similar to a moving average. And uh, the uh, band itself or the channel uh, is uh, switching colors from green to red to uh, this gray color here. And that indicates whether or not price is below the uh, channel. When price is below the channel, then the channel turns red. When price is above the channel, then it is green. When price is in the channel and not up or down, then the uh, channel turns gray. And so the setup on this is relatively easy. What we're looking for is uh, the uh, coloration of the band itself. So when the band turns green, that's going to be a signal to go long. When the band turns red, that's going to be a signal to go short. So that's what we're looking for. Let's go ahead and get on with the testing and see what we can get out of it. All right, so the first signal that we pick up is a short signal. We get that right here where we get that coloration uh, switch from green to gray, then red here on the uh, channel indicator here. And we get a little bit of a pullback right here. Looks like it may have barely stopped us out. Let's just go ahead and zoom in a little bit tighter here. Make sure that is actually a wick there.
yep looks like we just barely got stopped out on this wick right here to the upside uh, then we do pick up a, another short though right here as price uh, enters into the channel you can see that the channel turns gray and then we get that break back to the downside the channel goes into red again let's go ahead and play this forward some all right we get a little bit of a pullback to the upside looks like it avoids our stop this time and then makes a nice push to the downside there which does get us to our take profit let's go ahead and continue on All right, we then pick up another short right here. Looks like it's gonna be a, um, a close from one week to a next. Yeah, so you can see that we get a little bit of a gap right there. And often what we'll see is that uh, when we uh, close one week and open another week, we get a push in the opposite direction. They just kind of change the direction quite abruptly and start to push it in the opposite way and this looks like what has happened here so we get that short right there we get a heavy pullback to the upside there it's going to stop us out on that one and then we actually pick up a long over here on this side but then we start to push back down to the open of that week looks like it's going to stop us out again as it pushes down right here so what I'm going to do is go ahead and fast forward through the rest of the testing that we think so get too long and we'll pick this up when we are at the end of the year. All right, so that's going to put us at the end of the year right there. Before we take a look at what this was able to achieve, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our Discord server. This is our Discord server here. It is free to join. Most of the channels here are free. You're welcome to join and take part in most of the conversations here. But we do have a Patreon-only channel set up just for our patrons where we're posting some really great advanced information. For example, uh, Sasquatch here is one of our members. He is an awesome Forex prop trader. And he's putting up charts like this on a regular basis. You can see uh, just a uh, series of charts where he has done uh, market analysis, marking out areas of support and resistance, areas of interest, uh, patterns and things that you should be looking out for, really teaching everybody how to do analysis as far as candlestick and different pattern analysis. Really, really great stuff there. Uh, our newest admin, uh, Mike from Upright Trading, he has unfortunately uh, gotten a little ill here lately, so he hasn't been as active over the last week or so, but really great guy, uh, really helping everybody out with indicators. He's got quite a few indicators that he has developed himself in the uh, some are paid, some are free, but he really goes out of the way to make sure that people understand how to use them and uh, develop strategies that he will post videos on and guide people the best way to use his indicators. Very, very knowledgeable, uh, awesome guy. Uh, well, really great to have him around. And then just in general, the uh, rest of the members are posting different trades that they're taking, information that they find useful or helpful for other traders, general conversation. Sometimes they'll post some of their trade results of uh, uh, small accounts or challenges that they're taking. Just all in all, it's a wonderful environment where everybody's helping everybody out, everybody's supporting everybody and helping everybody grow as traders. So I highly recommend that you join us. Now, all right, let's go ahead and take a look at our indicator here. Let's go ahead and scroll this back a little bit there. All right, let's count it out and see what we have. So we one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen so we have 15 trades all together and we have one two three four five six and seven seven winning trades and so that is not going to meet the 60 percent criteria that we are looking for uh this indicator uh, even though it did what uh what we often uh, suggest that moving averages do, which is to create kind of a buffer in between the long signals and the short signals. Uh, it appears that this one uh, 
didn't create quite enough buffer between the two. And so it's still kind of getting some of this whipsaw action where price is just barely peeking out the other side and then turns around and immediately re reverses back to uh, the opposite direction, barely peeks out and then uh, almost immediately reverses back to the opposite direction. It just kind of gets this pinball effect going on where we're taking clusters of losing trades again. And so uh, it definitely tried and uh, did a little bit better than I think most moving averages would have done. Uh, got pretty close. I mean, we've had a couple moving averages that uh, obviously did better, but uh, nonetheless, this one is going to go on the no list and we will move on to the next indicator from here.